parallel offsets layer option let's go in here and say we want to work on this kitchen area and we want to uh, add say a, a freezer uh, next to this refrigerator dishwasher and I'm going to go up here and do the offset command and I'm going to come down and pick the layer and it says enter the layer option for the offset uh, objects and I could say I want it to be the current layer or the source layer so if I want the current layer it's going to place it on this current layer so let's go and place I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to come up here and place it to my app, my appliance layer. Now I'm going to come up and I'm going to do an offset. I'm going to choose the layer command and I'm going to say, you know what? I want it to go to the current layer. And so now it says offset the distance. Well, I'm going to put it one inch away from the wall. And so now I'm going to pick the wall and now I'm going to move it forward and boom I've now created a line right here that is the length of that line so maybe I just want to come in here and trim this line off right and I'll pick that line and say okay now instead of having this line being an A wall full I offset that line all already to an A application uh, or excuse me, an A appliance movable. So now I can start drawing another appliance in here, such as a, you know, a freezer or whatever it may be. So we don't have to have whatever line that we were on. Uh, we could change the layer to what we wanted to go to, and we can change it to the current layer. Whatever we have current is a nice option to have.